Okay, we're going to have a quick look at here at crossing over. And uh, crossing over can occur um, between a homologous pair of chromosomes. And, um, and it's basically when they're in the replicated state in, in, in meiosis 1, and they, they line up um, in the homologous pairs. And when they're right next to each other, the two tips can basically swap ends and we can see a really clear example of, of what can happen here. So a little bit of the end here um, has swapped with a little bit of the end here. Okay, And, and I suppose that's important because normally the, the chromosome here has a particular combination of genes and this chromosome has a particular combination of, of genes and it can allow different combinations. So the genes up here that are normally associated with the genes down here can now have um, a, a different version of the gene on the same chromosome. So you get different mixtures of the genes. It's a really great way to get variation. We already have variation through independent assortment, but this is just another way to mix up combinations of genes. This little spot here where they cross over and swap is called a chiasma. Now, if we think about what's actually happening there, um, these chromosomes are lining up exactly next to each other and they have um, a whole lot of similarities in their code. So when they line up, um, th they, can, they can swap. And there's a, a number of enzymes um, that, that actually exist in the cell that encourage um, um, this swapping to occur. There's an enzyme called recombinase, and endonucleases which, which basically help break the, the DNA. So it's not something that's really discouraged in the cells. And um, I suppose as long as it occurs at, at, at the exact same point, um, it, it's not really a problem. Now let's just look at when in, the, in meiosis this is going to occur. And it occurs in, when these homologous pair of chromosomes line up in the middle. And that way that, here we go, um, yeah, so these might be two uh, number 15 chromosomes, and they're lining up in the middle of the cell. All the other 23 pairs in a human might be lining up in the middle as well. But these guys are right next to each other, and that's where the tips can get right next to each other, and we can swap some between the two uh, chromosomes. And, th and that's during meiosis 1. During meiosis 2, I suppose, if we had crossing over occur, it would happen between identical um, chromosomes, because the two chromatids... Uh, on this chromosome are exactly the same. So what we, we probably wouldn't see um, any real difference or mixture of genes. So um, crossing over occurs in meiosis 1 between the homologous pairs uh, at a little point called the chiasma, increases variation. Um, in some stages um, that um, they might they might, there might be a, a number of crossing over points. So there might be multiple crossing overs occur. Okay. Um, good luck with uh, studying uh, crossing over. Uh, this is a really um, good link between meiosis and uh, some of the genetics that we're going to be studying.